Bidding say that it was in no small part thanks to new flood defences they helped to develop by working in partnership with the Environment Agency. Fiona Molly Patterson has more. The wall storm Kira tested and it worked. This was the scene on Sunday. The floodgates were up on the shops, but the water didn't get past the wall. With the new flood wall and all the work they've been doing upstream to slow the water down, um, so there was no sort of water coming over from the stream. The drains on the road, were, were they weren't getting the water away fast enough. So the water was backing up on the road. But we got the floodgates up and um, got them in place and then, um, and then, and then legged it out of the village in case we got stranded here and, and then had to leave the shop closed for the day. But then um, when we got back here Monday morning, the beck was right down, hardly any water in it. There was no, no flood in the shop. So the, our, our floodgates, had, so I don't think it even got tested, to be honest. I don't think the water made it up to our floodgates. In Storm Desmond, this beck was armed with boulders that came down from the mountains and slammed into Glen Ridding. Locals actually call it Rattlebeck because of the sound of the rocks moving when the river is at its fastest. And it's still a constant job to keep this clear of debris. I'm born and bred in the Dale and for years and years we've had local builders, local people taking the stone and the rubble away from underneath the bridge. So that's the most important thing now great having all this work done behind us perfect can't thank them enough for that but what we've got to do is maintain what's going on underneath this bridge this community set up a flood group after storm desmond they're always working on something to make sure they're ready for heavy rain so when the back level gets to a certain height we can take those out and let the water out and that's going to reduce the back level and that's exactly what we do at the weekend so we had a call from the hotel to say they were getting some water coming into their kitchens and basement. And what we did was took all four of those stock logs out and within about 15 minutes the back level had dropped about two feet, which was enough to get their drains working again. Storm Desmond brought destruction here. But after four years of hard work, this village can live with a storm like Kira. Fiona Molly Patterson, ITV News, Glen Reading.